Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. And for those of you who do, welcome back. For today's video, I had a IKEA furniture that was in my beauty room slash closet room, which I'm in right now. And there was just something about the furniture. I mean, I love IKEA for practical and useful, quick furniture, but there was just something about this furniture. I love the shape. It was just looking a little on the cheapier side so i wanted to do a little revamp and make it more luxurious and more my style i'm sort of revamping my bedroom so i want this piece of furniture to go in the bedroom i wanted a more darker look to mix in with the look that i'm going for what i have envisioned in my head for my bedroom i'm so happy of how it turned out i think it does look more expensive and more my style. I can't wait to share it with you. A few things I should mention about this DIY. I did a couple of rookie mistakes. I'm going to address them now because throughout the video it was a sort of learn as you go kind of thing, but some of the things I chose were a little bit of a rookie mistake. I was a little bit on the lazier side. I wanted to do this faster and quicker so I didn't end up you either can sand it or prime it especially the type of Ikea furniture there's always this sheen to their furniture I have told myself I'm using chalk paint I'm sure it'll probably stick which it sort of did any little thing that you move it scratches so I would definitely suggest using a primer and probably sanding it as well just sanding the just a tiny bit just so that it has more of a grip to it so that the paint can hold on that was my first rookie mistake moving on to my second one i had gone these carpets at home depot which you guys are going to see in the clip i had leftover wood glue so i told myself i would use the wood glue then nail them in place and i think it'll work but i would definitely suggest not using wood glue and using some sort of other gorilla glue that will hold rubber onto wood just because I feel that it wasn't holding it good enough. Thank God I put the nails in because if it weren't for the nails, I don't think that the glue would hold it in place. I put the glue so that it had an extra hold. Oh, and also I used a wax to finish it off. And I started realizing that it was giving a little bit more of a sheen that I personally don't like to my furniture. It's one thing on wood, but I felt on the black it was making it look not what I was going for. So I had to repaint a part of it because I wanted it to really be a sort of black matte and no sheen to it. So if you're like me and want it to be very matte, then I would suggest leaving as is. The reason why... I didn't and I chose not to is because it's a furniture that I won't use a lot of the top it's just opening and closing the cupboard doors to get some of my clothes in there if it was more like a coffee table or a side table or even a dining table I would 100% suggest to use some sort of finish so those were pretty much my little rookie mistake and just make sure that you guys don't make the same mistakes I knew better but I guess I was just being a little lazy so don't be lazy because in the end, you end up doing a lot more work. So that's what I wanted to let you guys know about this DIY. I just love how the whole dresser turned out. I haven't put it yet in the bedroom. Where I'm putting it, we're going to have the TV on top. And I just didn't have time to do that. But I really wanted to show you the finished look. Comment down below. Let me know if you like it better before or you liked it better after. Or if you have any other suggestions, maybe down the line I'll change it up. But as of right now, I love it. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. But before we get into the whole DIY part, you guys know I love to mix my DIYs with my fashion. And I recently got some really cool shoes from a company called Bow Today. And I wanted to share them with you. So I thought I would mix a little mini haul and obviously my DIYs. So we're going to start off with the mini haul first. I'm going to show you my first pair. I was on a mission to find some really chunky sneakers i fell on these so i'm going to show you my first pair that i got they come in this really cool box and they come with a little insole it's attention to detail and you know i love that it also comes in a dust bag so that's fun these are the first sneakers that i got so they are these I know it's not for everybody. Some of you are probably going to be like, oh, I would never wear that. But I just think that they're super cool. They give a whole stylish 
look to your outfit. You can totally dress down a dress. You can wear them with jeans. I was looking for a pair of neutral ones. The quality is awesome for the price. So these were my first sneakers. Then, of course, I was looking for sneakers and I found another pair and I couldn't decide between the next pair and these ones. So I told myself, why not get both? They're pretty similar in style, but they are still different. I still went with the whole chunky sneaker, but these have this tan and a taupe color. The sole is different, so let me put those next to the other ones so I can show you the difference. These are the first ones I showed you where I feel the sole is a little bit thicker, and then there's these ones here, so I don't know. I couldn't choose between which one. I know I'm gonna wear both of them and get a lot of use out of them. I think paired with you know, a floral dress in the summertime when you want to go walking or hiking or you can totally wear it with tights and a tank top or a blazer with jeans. Really cool. So anyway, I just love them. I was looking for chunky sneakers and I found them and I'm so happy. And of course, I kept shopping, the shopaholic in me. I got another pair of sandals. These are gonna be my go-to sandals. I've gotten a couple of sandals that I shared with you on some of my previous hauls, but when I got these and tried these on, okay, so let me, <laughs> let me stop talking and show them to you guys. I know that I will be wearing them all summer with every single outfit. So there are these sort of like gladiator tie-up sandals. I love a sandal that wraps around my ankle because you guys know I have a small ankle. They just fit perfectly on my foot. They're black. They're cool. They have a little chunky sole to them. I could not ask for a more perfect sandals. Another thing I should mention is that I got size 6 US for the sneakers, but then I got size 7 for sandals because I want to make sure that my toe wasn't going to stick out. For some reason, sandals, I always go up a size so that I have enough room in the back and in the front. I would say they're pretty true to size and they are super sweet. They are offering you a discount code. I will leave all their information down below so if you're interested go check them out they have so many other styles that is pretty much all the shoes that i got i mean i wasn't so bad i got three which is not that bad <laughs> without further ado we're gonna jump right into the whole diy part enjoy This is the furniture I am going to work with. I got this dresser at Ikea. I thought of painting it black. I'm not liking the white. It's just not my thing. It has a whole bunch of scratches on it right now. I thought of making it cooler. So another thing I'm going to show you guys is I got these right here. I found these at Home Depot. You're probably going to see a clip of them. My first initial thought was to get some wood pieces and then just stick them on and obviously nail them in. But when I saw this, it's these rubber mats and it's exactly what I was looking for. It is the perfect size for the doors. So what I was thinking of doing is taking these rugs here and then putting them on the front of these doors right here. They're the perfect size. I'd probably need to size them at the bottom. They're too long right now, but they are the perfect width. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to stick them and also nail them. And then I'm going to paint them black. What I want is the whole dresser, if you want to call it, um, the whole dresser to be completely black. I'm going to add some, also some handles because I'm not feeling this right here. I think I can elevate it and make it look a little bit more different and cooler and just more expensive looking. So what I'm going to start off doing is taking everything off the dresser and then also take things that are inside the dresser. Right now I have some jeans, I have some beauty products, I have jewelry accessories, so I'm just going to take everything out. Then we're going to put it on a tarp and we're going to start working on it. So uh, let's do this. I put the tarp on the floor and now I'm going to get ready to start painting. The reason why I am doing it inside the house is just because it is too energy consuming to bring it down the stairs. It's quite a heavy furniture so I'm going to paint it here. I mean with the tarp it should be fine. I got this 
um, if I could turn it the other way, it's a chalk paint. They didn't have it in black, so I had to get it made in black. They had charcoal, they had every other color except for black, but I really wanted a matte black and I wanted it to be a chalk finish. I've heard that chalk is just great for slippery surfaces. It really sticks to the surface. I also was debating whether or not to sand a little bit of the top of where I'm going to be painting before I go ahead and paint, but I'm doing the lazy way. So I'm going to try it out, see if it's actually sticking. If it's not, then I'm just going to have no choice but to sand it down. But I'm going to start off maybe putting the paint, testing it out and doing the, you know, the top and the outside of it, see how it sort of sticks. And if I see that it's just gliding and it's not happening, then I'm going to bring it downstairs and then I'm going to sand it. So anyway, we're going to start off from the top and on the sides here to test it and see what it looks like. As far as the front of the doors, since I'm going to be putting that panel and painting over the panel, I'm going to go with a little bit of paint everywhere just so that everything is tidy and you can't see any white coming through so I'm gonna do that but then I'm gonna also stick and nail the carpet so anyway one thing at a time we're gonna start off with the black paint testing it out see if I need to sand it and if not then we're gonna continue So these are the handles that I got at Ikea. They're called Hakas and I got them in black. They also come, I believe, in white. I also put them on one of my other furnitures that was a mid-century furniture that I had revamped. I thought that they were so perfect. I wanted the black on black look and I didn't want little handles. Let's drill these in now. 